Earth is moving towards the same meteor swarm that scientists believe caused the 1908 Tunguska event. Tyler Durden of Zero Hedge reports this is from uh, Michael Snyder via the end of the American Dream blog. Over the next several weeks, our planet will have a close encounter with the torrid meteor swarm. It will be the closest that we have been to the center of the meteor swarm since 1975, and we won't have an encounter this close again until the year 2032. So for astronomers, this is a really big deal. And also for those who like to have, uh, uh, well, that have the hobby of stargazing, star watching, we have Jupiter south of the moon, around five or six o'clock position with its moons, and you can see them with a the binocular very clearly, because Jupiter is also very close to our Earth. Now, hopefully there will be no danger to Earth during this pass with the torrid meteor showers, but some scientists are absolutely convinced that the Tunguska explosion of 1908, which flattened 80 million trees in Russia, was caused by an object from the torrid meteor swarm. And as you see below, the last week of June will mark the point where we are the closest to the center of the meteor swarm, so that will be when the risk is the greatest. According to S uh, CBN News, our planet will approach within three, uh, sorry, 30 million kilometers of the center of the torrid swarm by the end of this month. This summer, Earth will approach within 30 million kilometers of the center of the torrid swarm, the study says, and that would be Earth's closest encounter with a swarm since 1975, and the best viewing opportunity we'll have until the early 2030s. 30 million kilometers may sound like a great distance, but in astronomical terms, that's not very far at all. And it's important to remember that distance is measured from the exact center of the meteor swarm. And there are some scientists that are convinced that giant rocks from the meteor swarm have been responsible for multiple once per 1,000 year catastrophic events on Earth in the past. This is what the uh, comment says in Forbes magazine. The remnants of a comment as Earth orbits the Sun, its orbital path often goes through dust and debris left by comets with matter no bigger than a grain of sand busting into Earth's atmosphere and burning up as shooting stars. Mostly they're harmless, but the torrid swarm, the meteor swarm, is an exceptionally large cloud of debris, probably from comet 2P Enke, that scientists think may be responsible for some once per 1,000 year catastrophic events on Earth. The torrid complex giant comet hypothesis proposes that a giant comet fragmented in the inner solar system producing dust and small near-Earth objects, NEOs, including 2P and K and other asteroids still present today. Among the observational evidence is increased fireball shooting star activity when Earth gets close to the torrid swarm and increased impacts on the Moon as well. In particular, it's now widely believed that the enormous object that exploded over Russia on June 30th, 1908, was from the torrid media swarm. If you're not familiar with the Tunguska event, here is some excellent information from Wikipedia concerning this. Early estimates of the energy of the air blast range from 10 to 15 megatons of TNT to 30 megatons of TNT, depending on the exact height of burst estimate when the scaling laws of the effects of nuclear weapons are employed. But modern supercomputer calculations that include the effect of the object's momentum find that more of the energy was focused downwards than would be the case from a nuclear explosion and estimate that the airburst had an energy a range from 3 to 5 megatons of TNT. The 15 megaton MT estimate represents an energy about a thousand times greater than that of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, Japan, roughly equal to that of the United States. Castle Bravo, 15.2 megatons, ground-based thermonuclear detonation, March 1st, 1954, and about one-third that of the Soviet Union's Tsar Bomba explosion on 30th of October, 1961 which at 50 megaton is the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated. It's estimated that the Tunguska explosion knocked out some 80 million trees over an area of 
2,150 square kilometers, that's 830 square miles, and that the shockwave from the blast would have measured 5.0 magnitude on the Richter scale. It's interesting to note that the Sangaska event happened during the last week of June 1908, and right now researchers are telling us that the last week of June this year will be the next occasion when a high probability for Tunguska-like collisions or near-Earth misses. Researchers from the University of New Mexico and Western Ontario in Canada uh, warn we could be in for a similar catastrophic event. Quote, if the Tunguska object was a member of the Beta Torrid stream, then the uh, last week of June 2019 will be the next occasion with high probability of Tunguska-like collisions or near misses even. This is what the researchers wrote in a recent article. Of course, nobody is saying that something will happen during that time. It's simply a time when there is heightened risk and we should all be hoping for absolutely nothing to happen. But we should not completely dismiss this threat either. A couple of years ago, scientists discovered a new branch of meteor swarms that contain asteroids up to a whopping 1,000 feet wide. Scientists discovered a new branch of the torrid meteor stream that could pose a major risk to Earth with asteroids up to 1,000 feet wide flying past us every few years. If a 1,000 foot asteroid hit our planet tomorrow, we would be talking about the sort of civilization-changing event that I have been warning about for a very long time. Once again, it's probably not likely that something will happen over the next few weeks. In fact, scientists tell us that it's far more likely that there will be some sort of impact in 2032. In November 2032, Earth will pass through the torrid swarm, a cloud of debris from Comet 2P Enke, that makes brilliant fireballs when its gravity, uh, when its gravity particles occasionally hit Earth's atmosphere. Previous encounters with the swarm in 2005 and 2015 produced showers of bright meteors observed around the world. In 1975, the swarm contacted the moon, making Apollo seismic sensors with evidence of objects hitting the lunar surface. If our casters are correct, we're in for similar activity 13 years from now. In the end, we simply do not know when the next catastrophic meteor impact will happen, but scientists assure us that they will keep on happening. Giant rocks whiz by our planet constantly on a continual basis, and much of it, uh, much of the time, we do not even see them until they have already passed away, like what happened in uh, Chelyabinsk. We didn't expect that, that asteroid to come in, and it did. It uh, injured over 1,000 people and destroyed over 7,000 buildings. And no one saw that one coming, because they say that it was coming from behind the, the sun, and uh, you could not see any motion behind the sun that uh, quickly. So we may get some advanced warning before a civilization-killing rock hits us someday, but then again, we might not. And uh, if it was a thousand feet wide, it would probably be uh, an Earth extinction type of an event. Like, for example, the asteroid that came barreling into the Yucatan Peninsula that wiped out, wiped out the dinosaurs about 66 million years ago. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.